Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Showcase video. In today's video, we're looking at something quite useful actually, and that is a modular ship. Yes, so this is the Rig B, which comes with multiple different parts all connected up by this bright green steel block connector thingy bob bob. So what does this thing do? Basically, you get a little tiny ship right here, which has a merge block and a connector on it. And then you can just land it and connect yourself up to one of these five different things and you're good to go and do whatever you want to do. So we've got welding, we've got mining, we've got grinding, we've got logistics so we can just attach ourselves via landing gear onto different things and push them around. And then we've got a universal one for you to connect up to something else. So let's just go and press F10 and see what this thing has. So finding the rig... When it loads, there we go, the rig B, this thing weighs in at 1,402 small blocks. When you spawn it in, you'll get yourself a little grid like this, so just make sure the ship is facing upwards, like that. And then you can paste it in, destroy the green blocks, and off you go. But for the moment, I'm just going to leave them attached and go around them, then take you over to this one over here where I've lined them all up and ready to go. So this little modular ship is basically for if you wanted something very simple, very lightweight to use in survival mode. You could very easily use a projector and build this all up and you're good to go. I can't see anything on here which wouldn't work. But yes, it's quite a nice thing to have around. I have played around trying to make modular ships before, but I always get carried away by making a gigantic drill head. And once you start drilling, it's not going to go anywhere. Anyway, let's start with the little tiny ship. That is our bread and butter. It's going to connect us up. Oh, what happened here? Anyway, it's going to connect us up to our lovely modular devices. And it's a nice little ship if you want to go exploring in. It doesn't have any way of generating oxygen. That's its only downfall. So you will have to make sure you do have oxygen bottles with you if you want to survive for a very long time. But considering the actual use of this ship, you wouldn't be going too far away from your main ship. This is something that you just send out, attach onto the right modular part, and go off and do that, then return fairly quickly. So at the very front, we are using the DLC cockpit. Yes, if you don't have this, it's not going to spawn in, and it's a little bit of a problem because you would lose the blocks underneath here if you don't have the DLC pack. But you could, if you really, really wanted to, just add in the rover cockpit and just attach a spotlight underneath it. So yeah, speaking of the spotlight, below the cockpit, our spotlight with two little interior lights on an angle, which sit like that. They're sitting on a half block, which goes into a half slope block, which then goes round to a blast door corner part. Going up and above, we've got ourselves a battery and a merge block, which is how we're going to connect ourselves up to our modular parts. Coming across, we've got some ion thrusters, which is our main form of thrust, so it cannot go on planets, it's simply for space. Below that, we've got our connector, because some things like the drills will need to be connected up via connector in order for you to shove stuff into this ship. And going up, we've got ourselves an antenna, so we can remote control this. Coming around to the back, we've got ourselves a landing gear, which we can use just to dock ourselves, or we could use this connector at the very back. This is how we're going to unload or simply connect ourselves up to our main base if you're done with this ship. And of course, we've got two more thrusters at the back there, surrounded by some sloped and corner blocks. On the opposite side, instead of the antenna, we've got ourselves an ore detector, because we can go mining with this ship, so it's a very useful thing to have. Coming up and above, we've got ourselves some blast door edges with a wheel in the middle, and it's a nice thing to do to avoid using the plain steel blocks. Coming around over to here, we got ourselves a little reactor. Yes, you can just about see that on the yellow, just to keep me going. I have loaded this up in survival mode, by the way, so everything you're seeing here is just in survival mode, so there's nothing in that reactor. I'm just going to use it via the battery. But we've got two more thrusters at the top there, and that is basically it for the little ship. Now it's time to move across to the right-hand side to our logistics modular part. Now this is on upside down so you will have to detach this and move these ones down before you can get up to these ones in case you risk damaging the little ship. I've done that over there, I've just put them all on the correct side up to make it easier to showcase. But the logistics one, we've got four landing gear for us 
to go up and connect ourselves onto maybe a stray cargo container that got disconnected in a fight, or you need to push around a large grid that you've just taken over. We feature the same light setup as the main ship, so we've got our spotlight and two corner lights facing each direction on both sides. We then come along this fancy little block work of these sloped small blocks and some blast door edges with a remote control in the middle. I believe that's a remote control anyway, I can actually check that. If I got out and came over to here with my grinder. No, it's a small battery, I always get that confused. Anyway, yes, I'll just keep it on my character and can continue going. Towards the back, we've got some more thrusters just to help us with the moving around, because these things can get quite heavy, especially when you attach yourselves onto something. So having the extra thrusters there are going to make everything a lot easier. The thrusters at the back have been separated by a blast door edge. And if we just go and peek through there, you can just see the other thrusters. Now moving along, we've got some little block works there just to break it up so it's not just a complete same pattern on both sides. We've got some more blast door edges. We've got our merge block. On top of the merge block, we've got ourselves two little blast door edges, I believe. Yep, blast door edge. And we've got ourselves a gyroscope right in the dead center because it is a very useful thing to have. Got two little buttons there, so if you want to access this and do something with it, you can do that. And that is it, basically, for the logistics one. Dropping down below it, we have this thing, which I'm not too sure. It's kind of like the default part, where you, if you don't want to use the logistics, if you don't want to use the welder, the grinder, the driller, you would just attach onto this, and this would be your main ship body. Or at least that's what I'm thinking it is. So we have two merge blocks. Yes, the one in the middle is the one we're going to connect up to. And we have a secondary one here, which we would use to connect up to something else if you needed to do that. We've got ourselves some spotlights at the very front. We've got more additional thrusters, the same pattern going around the sides of blast or edges and a battery in the middle. They're coming around the back, exactly the same. We have two ion thrusters with a blast door edge in the middle. And yes, it's a rather simplistic one. I do consider that the main body. Coming across, all the way around, to this one here, we've got our drilling one. Yes, if you need to go off and uh, drill some good resources like iron or something like that if you're struggling, if you don't want to gather up stone, just want to go over to an iron deposit, gather up some ice, this is how we're going to do it. So, like the other ones, merge block in the middle for you to connect up to, and a connector at the back, which is going to connect us up to the connector up there. Yes, you could, if you really wanted to, build yourself a large cargo container with a connector on it and attach it up to the back of this thing to dump everything in there, but you will become quite heavy, so you do kind of have to rely on the inventory of the drills themselves. As for everything else on this, we do have a lot more braces. We've got some connectors going all the way around just to connect ourselves up to that connector. So there's the underneath. So along the bottom, we can see our small drills and some cargo containers. They're small cargo containers, they're not going to carry too much, so you can't really, really take a stone. You're going to have to go for the actual resources themselves, but we do have a sorter connected on there to make sure it all goes into that connector. Then coming across, we've got ourselves another gyroscope and a button panel with an LCD screen on there with an exclamation mark that will then go over to the spanner and the hammer. Is that a spanner or a wrench? Ah, whatever. You know what I mean. Moving across... Yes, moving across, we got ourselves the welder. If you need to weld something up, repair something, this is the one to go for. It's a lot bigger than the other ones. In fact, I think that one might be bigger, but let's ignore that for the moment. So yes, it's a bit bigger than the drills and the logistics and the general connector one. But we do have four welders on there, a spotlight in the middle with two spotlights on the sides. Got some nice little corner blocks going on there. Got ourselves a... Whatever that is, is that a merge block or a connector? No, that's a conveyor frame. I don't think I've ever used them in this game. They've always been there, but I've never touched it. Anyway, moving along, we've got ourselves a cargo container for us to store stuff in. Would have been a lot more useful if this has the drills on it, because they've got a cargo container, so you can just get a lot more on it, but never mind. Moving across, we've got our batteries with our blast or edge parts some more iron thrusters, and a large connector going across up to here. Yes, it's set up the same way as the drills where we have our merge block and connector, just to put it up to our main body. 
And then, last but not least, we have the grinder. Yes, if you need to go up and destroy a station, perhaps you don't have a build and repair system, you're doing a completely vanilla playthrough, this is one to use. So we connect up via the merge block down there. In fact, let me just switch myself around. There we are. Got ourselves our merge block and behind it, the connector. So we've got four grinders on here, which all go into four conveyors with our conveyor frame making an appearance once again. Moving across, we've got our cargo containers. Yes, I think they're the medium cargo containers. They can't really store too much in there, but it's enough really. This little ship is only going to be destroying small ships. It won't go after massive stations or anything like that. So it's perfectly usable. Then coming around the back, same story once again. A large conveyor goes up to the connector. So that's the basic overview of the parts you get and it's quite nice. But yes, you quite simply take off the one you want by going like this and plop, they're all gone. If you're in survival mode, just simply grind them away. It's all like that. But now it's time for me to come over to this one and we'll connect them up and have a little fly. So I've set them all up in a roughish sort pattern. And let's just hop in here and go for a little fly. So going forwards with this, it's quite slow. We've only got small iron thrusters on there, so we're not going to be moving around too much, which does suit the type of ship this is. It's not a combat vessel. It's not a racing vessel. It's basically a multi-tool to be pulled out when you really need it. So let's go and connect ourselves up to the logistics one. So underneath here, we have our little blast door edge, which is going to allow us to hook into place. So if I just aim the camera like this and just drop down, making sure the merge block is now turned on so we automatically snap in place, we can drop down and force ourselves down and we are now connected. There we are. The camera does go funny when you're in third person. It would be nice to have some kind of camera on there to so you line yourself up. But now we're good to go. We can just fly around there. We've now got control over those thrusters, which is very useful, which makes it a lot easier to fly. So I can now just fly over to this one and then try and connect myself up. Coming around the side here, dropping down, and then basically going splup. Pressing P, I've now taken control of this grid. And this is mine, mine to control. But we can disconnect that, fly away, turn off the merge block, and away we go. Yes, like I did say, there is a remote control, so if you wanted to take control of it, you can do so. I think I'm taking control of a drill. Huh, that's kind of fun. Anyway, coming out of that, let's go and do the, ooh, let's do the grinder next. So coming over to the grinding one, just come down, Make sure I'm sort of in place. Drop myself down. We do have a connector to connect up to. So coming down. Conveyor will now snap into place. There we are. We can press 7 to connect. And we are good to go with the grinder. But you might have noticed there's no way to actually use the grinder. There is no other options. Yes, we have to come over to the remote access and take control over the second grid. So we need to press G. Come over to the block tools and put down our grinder. We can now press that and we can grind everything up. So the number one button is the drill because I did a little test earlier. Now we've got full control over this, but it does require a little bit of setup with the buttons. So now let's go and grind away the grinder. Oh, grind away the welder even. Just go and do that. Let's go check the cargo containers. So we've got some. Oh, let's look in here. So they're the grinding containers. Yeah, we can keep going. And there's that. So we just keep grinding away if we want to and just store lots of materials in there. Quite a fair bit, actually. So we've got our grinders in there, which are automatically pushing stuff into our cargo containers. So yeah, it's pretty good until you start running into the large steel tubes, which eat up all your storage space. So pressing F and pressing 1, pressing 7, we're now disconnected and can fly away. So let's now come over to the welder. Yes, let's try the welder out. Coming around to here, dropping down, turning on the merge block once again. You've got to remember to turn on the merge block or you're just going to bat this thing away. I'm sure that's in line, I think. Oh, there we go. Snap in place, please. 
There we go. So I can press this, take remote access of the small grid in front of me. Press G, find the block tools. There's the welder. Let's go put that on. Press 3. Welding is ready. So now I can just turn over to this. And if I wanted to, start welding it. But I've got no resources in here because this is survival mode. So it's not going to be doing anything. So I can just press F, press 7, then press 1. And release that to go on its merry way. Next up is the drill. So this is why I've been sitting next to the asteroid. So we're going to go and do a spot of mining. In fact, I might need to eject out some of the stuff. No, I've got nothing in here. Now let's come over to here, put that on. Drop down. And here we go. It is a little bit fiddly, but once you get used to it, it's pretty decent. If I can actually get this in place. There we are. That should lock in place. There we are. Was a bit worried there that it was just going to ping away, but it managed to get there. And there we are. There is a massive, massive resource pile of iron. Let's go and destroy that. But yes, I will need to take remote access of this, but I've already set it up, so I can press 1 and get it drilling. So we are a little bit heavy with the drills, but we can just go and start mining this. There we are. And gather up a nice lot of resources. Oh, an unknown signal. Look at that. Now, this wouldn't be for deep core mining. This would only be really for surface mining. Or, well, I guess surface mining would be it. Because you're not going to make a big enough hole to get everything through without risking damaging the cockpit. Because the drills themselves are a little bit too far apart, it looks like. And you would start taking damage with the cockpit. Like I just bumped into there. There we are. I believe I've just filled up on resources. So let's take a look. So we've got 3,000 in the connector. We've got 9,000 in each drill. And another 3,000 in the other connector. So that's a decent amount. It's nothing perfect. It's not going to last you a very long time. But it's there if you want it in an emergency. So now let me go and find where the other stuff is. Over there, I can just press F, undo that, and undo the merge block, and lift myself away. I don't think I've got anything in here. Oh, I do. I do have the iron in the connector, so it's all went through. Well, not all of it. Some of it went through. And then, to drop down and come over to this one, which I consider the actual ship itself. So we're going to connect ourselves up into here. I don't know which way round this goes. I always connect it up like this. Turn it on, drop down. See, I like to connect it up like this, but I think it might need to go the other way around. Maybe not. Maybe that is correct, because we've got an LCD screen at the front there. Yes, this is what I consider the actual ship itself, the proper ship for you to go and use. It's a lot more speedier. Got some nice speed on there. Some pretty good stopping time. And the left and right have all been improved thanks to all those extra thrusters. But yes, that is it for the Rigby. It's a nice little modular ship for you to download and play around and use in survival mode. Yes, it's not going to be a perfect solution if you're having trouble in survival mode. It won't be able to drill massive amounts. It won't be able to grind massive amounts. But it's there if you need it as an emergency because it's not that many blocks and nothing too complicated to actually build once you're in space where this thing can only be used. So as per usual, it will be in the description below if you wish to download and try it yourself. And I'll be back with another video somewhere soon. Bye bye.